Uh, hey everyone, welcome back to a new week of Hobby Fist and GeoGuessr. And, um, I got a story to tell. So, as you're going to hear on tomorrow's uh, um, video on Uncharted, that again we had another issue with a computer and what happened was uh let me carlisle um i can't tell what it is because this goddamn truck's in the way and it's perfectly spaced so i can't see although this will help this is the henna turnpike the fuck no the i-76 um, anyway, so again, I wanted to put in a new um, SSD for my uh, computer, and what happened was my 76, how, how, Carlisle, so I'm going to click here, so my SSD that I had for my C drive was a about um, 60 gigs. Surprisingly, when I bought it, it was probably around uh, maybe $150, maybe 200 bucks. And now when I went looking at the price for it, there's 465. So can I find Allen Road? Maybe. Um, so I ended up wanting to replace it because I wasn't able to do that eight fucking gig, uh, eight gig update to, uh, Windows 10. And it was preventing me from doing some stuff on my, for some other videos. I couldn't update, uh, my video driver at all because I didn't have enough space and trying to run a Vermintide caused my computer to black out and crash every time I tried to play it. So I thought, all right, time to upgrade to a new SSD. So I got a, uh, so I got a um, 250 gig, which was insanely cheap. All that stuff's real cheap right now. And uh, proceeded to look at what I had to do to Carlisle exits. I am going the right way, I believe. Looking at all the stuff to make the, uh, pardon me one sec. I just wanted to transfer over so I didn't have to worry about losing all my saved stuff. I had my C drive. I didn't have that much, but I didn't want to lose any of it anyway. And just uh, transfer everything over on my C drive to a new C drive. Copy paste, basically. And, of course, just like with my microphone story, anything that can happen will and did happen. And I just ended up spending six hours this morning with Evo here trying to get this stupid thing to work because of one computer issue past another. But long story short, and then I, I, I'm calling it short because four minutes again, uh, I'm saying it's right here. I'm just going to end the story here. Long story short, had to completely wipe and do a new boot on the new replacement C drive. So now we're, uh, I'm going to have to fiddle around with all the audio levels again. I think I've got them pretty well set. I might have to do a bit of tweaking on the mic for this. Let me just do this right now. I might have to do some tweaking for it, but I'm going to have to go through and uh, redo everything again. And I apologize for going through this headache again because it seems to happen way too often. But I think I got it set. This week might be tweaking up and down a bit, but um, sorry. I'm trying to remember and learn how to do all this. You know, it said 76. It was an exit to 76. That was dumb of me. But I'll give it four stars. Um, actually, no, this is fantastic. What's happening is I'm going to have to do some splicing of video once this is done. Why is this not picking up audio? I'll try jumping out here. Sorry. Desktop audio. 
Okay, it is taking. I have to do some splicing when uh, when this happens. I just have to remember not to empty my recycle bin when I'm doing this video. But now audio is 100%. There we go. Okay, we do have it. Sorry. I had to crank that real loud just for my own sake because I'm losing my mind today. Um, yeah. What the hell was I talking about at this point when I had no idea where we were? I'm just going to click here. Pay attention to Brad's auto repair. Thankfully, the, the time is going to sync up on this and I'll be able to put in here. But I was in the middle of doing this and then the internet died out on me. I'm like, great, why not? This has already been a shit show of a weekend. Why not continue the trend as everything that bad, that can badly happen, happen as I'm still 100% sure I have no idea where we are, but I am going to Wigs, Wigs, Wigs. Blessed Creations. Dad's Fine Jewelers. Chinese Massage. Profit Minders, huh? These are all that yellowish orange. That makes me feel like... What is it? Gamers Anonymous, huh? What games do we have here? I can probably tell what time of the... When, when this took place. Oh, this is some... Old stuff, they do some Nintendo repairs, it looks like. I can't tell what that is. Nothing in there helps me. True Care Dental does not help me. Eloy's New Mexican Restaurant. Well, it was New Northeast New Mexico. This is kind of a town. I'm going to put myself in Springer. Maybe it's Cimarron or Wagons Mountain. Why does I say Las Vegas? Because Las Vegas is not only in one place. Wild uh, uh, Smoke Shop. I don't think they have uh, marijuana legal in this uh, state yet. But Rebel's shop is now open. So we're in New Mexico. I don't know where. Again, I'm 100% certain that I did not mistakenly. Albuquerque out of outlet. So are we in Albuquerque? I'm going to put us here in Northeast Albuquerque. I wonder what it means. Like, uh... I'm pretty sure that's an... I don't want to seem like I'm ignorant. What is it? Falafalum... Fal Falafi Laham Mus Gyrot Abule. Um... Mediterranean... What do we got here? Is that a uh, European rest, uh, grocery store? That's cool. I'm trying to remember what the hell I talked about 10 minutes ago when this video died on me with the internet. And I'm having a very hard time of it. I know I complained about um, everything going wrong this weekend with me and technology. And I know I talked, I I'm going to talk about this uh, tomorrow too, where I don't want to be the old man who hates technology, but it's actively going out of its way to make me angry when I just want things to be able to work easily and fine. And it doesn't seem to be the case. And I'm just, like, done with it. I feel this is... Oh, it is actually in Albuquerque. All right, I'll give it four stars. And I just don't want to be the guy who just turns into the old curmudgeon when technology doesn't seem to work when I want it to, because... Um, either I'm too dumb, which can happen. I'm too dumb to figure it out, and I thought that just searching exactly what I needed online would give me the answer I needed and it didn't turned out it didn't what is this is this a dump uh these are dumps yep now did I accidentally hit America for GeoGuessr or is it just happening to be all American guesses I think I hit world but either way uh just give this one to me, folks. I've had a kind of a rough weekend. And it's only one day. It's only Saturday I'm recording this. Sorry if I'm blowing the bubble on this. But what does this say? Is this a... Yeah, that's an election for a sheriff of some sort. But um, later this week, once the Twitch thing is figured out, 
Um, I might have been talking about that. I might have died, but either way, I'll just reiterate myself real quick just so I can cover my base and just tell you guys again that Bill Bivens, Sheriff's a big deal around here, it looks like, that I'm going to iron out the exact time when I can actually get back from work, give myself like a little quick break just so I can... Um, uh, what's the word? What's the word? Decom like decompress, whatever the hell you want. Just relax just a bit after I get out of work. And then I'll start figuring out. I'll give myself like an hour and a half after streaming and then go right at it. But I'm going to spend all next week figuring that out. And then from there, be able to uh, get the later streams in and uh, actually kind of sleep like past eight years nine years at least in the job i've been at that i can't talk about because i actually find filled out forms saying i'm not allowed to talk about it i had to get up pretty early and i don't know if anybody's ever told you you definitely do not get used to it i have no idea where the hell this is this almost feels like uh florida and it could be in the southeast but again, I do not know. And I can actually go to bed at kind of a normal time too. Kinda nice for me. Oh God, no, we are not to stay on this road. This is just very nondescript. As you're not telling me anything that can help me. Seton, what is this? Seton Enterprises. All right, you're working. Oh, oh, that is a flag, and I feel like that's a Tennessee flag, or is it just a? No, it's a fish. You, you, you got me. I have no idea where this is, and I am very impressed that nothing in this rural. Back, well, backwater is a little dismissive, but rural, very nondescript section of, oh god, I gotta put something, Georgia, Tennessee, alright, that's one of the worst guesses I've had, nothing on there told me anything. We're, I guess, next to ball play, huh? I'll give you two stars just because I couldn't find anything. And next round. Um, this is also being recorded after... <clears throat> excuse me. The, uh... Um... What does this say? Cook Lake. Uh... Is this... Canada? Um... This is also being recorded the day after that huge... Bracket Buster, as they like to call it, and... No, this is 843 National something. And I have a bit of a uh, connection to it. In that... Um, well, at those who don't know, the... Big excuse for gambling... At your office is happening this weekend, at least around America, where... A bunch of college basketball teams, 64 of them, into to be uh, in total, are broken down um, in 16 teams per bracket, and they fight each other. There's four brackets, so it's 64, and um, they're all seated one to 16 per uh, cluster of brackets, whatever you want to call them. And the number one team. Out of all the teams, because it's 1 to 64, but each bracket is 1 to 16. But the number one team out of them all was uh, a one seed, which was uh, Virginia U University. I believe they're just called Virginia. Best team in the nation. Number one ranked one. And they were seeded against, presumably, since you're the best, you're going to go against the worst, just because that's how it works in the first round. A 16 seed, which is the worst seed, and... Surprisingly enough, throughout the entire history of the NCAA, which is what this college basketball tournament is called, 
No one, no um, 16 seed has ever beat a number one seed, let alone, this is a Interstate 90, huh? Let alone a uh, worst seed in all of, uh, whatever the hell it's called. The worst seed in all of the, uh, out of them all, would beat a number one. Well, it just so happened that that actually did happen last night. The worst team beat the best team pretty soundly. Actually, I-90 is super long, that's right. It goes from New York. Yep, all the way from Boston, I believe. It's one of the ones that go across the entire in the entire country. Well, oh, there's the 14. I just saw it. I just saw you for it. There it is. Uh, 14 alternate. I'm going to put me right here. But actually, we are heading this way. No, it's this way, I think. And they beat them last night by 20 points, pretty soundly and surprisingly. And the record of 16 seed teams is one. Right now, it's one in 135. I guess the odds were, I think, 20 to one. I think is how that worked out. Uh, Bedula Sundance. Yeah, there it is. Bedula Sundance. So we're like right here, I think. And uh, the team that beat them was the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, which is called UMBC for short. And they are in the America East Conference, which is a pretty small um, conference for college. And the team, the UMBC team, ended up beating my alma mater, the University of Vermont, which was the number one seed, by a last-ditch um, buzzer beater, as they call it, and won by three points against us. So even though that the um, they came from my same conference, I'm not going to root for them. You don't do that. I'm not going to be like, yeah, the UMBC, I've, I don't care about you guys at all. <laughs> I'm not going to root for you. I'm just happy that I think literally everyone, since it's now a bit like a big thing to predict who's going to win what in these tournaments. And um, pretty much everyone right now has a has not um, Central LA Refuge IQ Grand Code Refuge eh, Central Louisiana Refuge. Uh, see if anything's called a parish here, because. Fun fact, Louisiana is the only state in the U.S. who calls their counties parishes. But anyway, no one has won. No one is having a perfect bracket because you got to think of the odds of being able to pick everything perfectly throughout the entire thing. Uh, it's like one out of 64, and then there's permutations on those permutations. And uh, you can do the exponential math out and then find out. Yeah, and I, the odds of actually picking out the correct who's going to win, who's going to lose is is pretty insane. You're not going to do it. Um, So I think this is Louisiana. So I'm just saying hats off to you guys. Way to ruin everyone's expectations the one time. Because again, the odds, one out of one win now out of 136 attempts. This doesn't happen. It's happened one other time in the women's side back in 1998, I think. But people just seem to poo-poo the women's college basketball. But there's even an even more dominant, um, more dominant basketball, college basketball team on the women's side. Yeah, we're in LA, Louisiana, 115. All right. And that is the uh, University of Connecticut. And if you don't know where Connecticut is, Connecticut, it's right here. I believe they're at a Hartford, I think. But anyway, they like do nothing but win. It's it's pretty uh, insane how prolific they are. You can kind of think of them as the Patriots, just they win more for a longer amount of time. Uh, that's basketball. Ball. What else happened this weekend? I hate computers and technology. I'm still pretty sure I didn't pick by accident 
just the US, but uh, I'm rolling with it at this point. I gotta remember not to delete the first half of this video. And, um, yeah, uh, Wednesday I'll hopefully have some more stuff figured out because I have to re-download all the apps I was using to make the graphics and the images for all of this YouTube stuff. That's all gone now. Where the hell is 117? To zoom in this close because I don't think I'm oh 115. That is just luck. I'm gonna keep us right here and uh see if that's uh we're gonna hit the home button and Marksville. Marksville? I don't see you, Marksville. But as we have the last little bit of this time going, um yeah, just, again, sorry, bear with me as I get all the levels and volumes and stuff ironed out, and, uh, hopefully, again, when Wednesday comes around, I will not be doing the U.S., because apparently I just did that, and I feel kind of bad. And, um, yeah. I'm going to sit here and enjoy my very strong GeoGuess, even though it's still kind of bad. The Tennessee one, that one, I'm not going to let you tell me that that one was easy to find because it wasn't but uh thanks all for watching um just keep in mind when you do watch the video tomorrow for the uncharted that evo and i were very exacerbated we started very early in the morning trying to get this done and that video is the result of six hours of nothing and frustration but it should be a pretty interesting watch or listen to it got pretty cathartic just uh, this week for recording that, I kind of enjoyed what we just babbled on about. But anyway, for uh, the GeoGuessr thing here, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could like, favorite, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, it does help. And it is appreciated. Um, check out the other stuff we got in the channel. We are doing the Uncharted thing. It's going to be kind of a doozy this week. And uh, check out the Twitch stuff, although the Twitch is going to take one week off. We will be back next week, and hopefully everything is ironed out and we're good to go because i really want to play some vermintide that game was fun when i did but for everyone over here thank you all for watching we will see you next time have a good day